We always become amazed when we see rainbow in the sky. Rainbows are among the most beautiful of nature's displays. There are so many amazing facts about that colorful arc. It is neither a thing nor does it exist in a certain location. A rainbow is an optical illusion or phenomenon that is not controlled by humans, and it appears when the sun, air conditions, and the viewer's position to see it. So, how is rainbow formed? In this video, we try to learn about the formation of a rainbow. In the previous video, we learned about dispersion of visible light. As we know that the visible light, also known as white light, consists of a collection of component colors. The separation of visible light into its different colors is known as dispersion. These colors are often observed as light passes through a triangular prism. Prism does dispersion of light, because the light of different colors has different wavelengths that are refracted or deviated to different extents. More technically, dispersion occurs whenever there is a process that changes the direction of light in a manner that depends on wavelength. Newton was the first to make this experiment by transmitting light through a glass prism. The same process of dispersion of white light causes to form a rainbow. So, how does sunlight falling on clear drops of rain get broken into the rainbow of colors we see? Rainbows are formed when sunlight is scattered from raindrops into the eyes of an observer. Most raindrops are spherical rather than the often depicted teardrop shape and it is this spherical shape that provides the conditions for a rainbow to be seen. The position of the sun and the raindrops in relation to the observer need to be just right for a rainbow to form. Three conditions must be fulfilled to see a rainbow. First, it must be raining because a rainbow requires water droplets to be floating in the air. That's why it is visible right after it rains. Second, the sun must be shining and needs to be behind the viewer. The sun needs to be low in the sky, at an angle of less than 42 degrees above the horizon. The lower the sun in the sky, the more of an arc of a rainbow the viewer will see. Third, the observer's location must be between the sun and the rain. Rain, fog, or some other source of water must be in front of the viewer. To form a rainbow, it requires water droplets to be floating in the air. That's why we see them right after it rains. When the white light from sun hits the water droplets at certain angle then it causes rainbow. The angle at which light strikes the droplet is important because it decides whether the rainbow will appear or not. Usually, rainbow is visible at dawn or late afternoon, because at this time sun is low in sky and provides an ideal angle for rainbow. During the interaction of light with water droplet, some portion of light is reflected back. The other portion of light enters the drop and slows down, because water is denser than air. The reduction of speed causes light to get bent. That's why rainbow is always curved towards the normal line. When this portion of light will escape out the droplet, it will disperse into various wavelengths, as during moving from denser to rarer medium, then the light bends away from normal. This process is similar to that observed from a glass prism. For some cases, if angle of incidence will be greater than critical angle at water to air interface, then total internal reflection will occur. In this case, there will be no rainbow. So, the process of light dispersion through water droplets leads to form a rainbow. Rainbows are one of the most beautiful sights people can get while looking at the sky. In some cases, you may even see a double rainbow, which has been labeled as a rare occurrence. So, what makes a double rainbow? Sometimes you can see another, fainter secondary rainbow above the primary rainbow. The primary rainbow is caused from one reflection inside the water droplet. The secondary rainbow is caused by a second reflection inside the droplet, and this re-reflected light exits the drop at a different angle. It is about 50 degrees instead of 42 degrees for the red primary bow. This is why the secondary rainbow appears above the primary rainbow. The secondary rainbow will have the order of the colors reversed, too, with red on the bottom and violet on the top. To see more videos like this and please consider subscribing.